Stephanie from Southern Couture and I am so excited to be here to show you guys how I am working through the 100 days of grace and gratitude, not only with the journal, but also working in my Bible with gratitude documented using the grace and gratitude kit. Yes, I have said lots of things already, but you can find more information about those things down in the description. So please make sure you check that out below. There are other videos and this is kind of a part one or part two of another video where I'm showing my first two weeks injuries through the devotional journal but I want to in this video show you how I am also documenting in my Bible using mini entries and so I have another video where I did a process showing you a mini entry I set a timer for five minutes and showed you how you could get an entry done in five minutes or less if you are short on time you can still do it and still work through this with us and so you have to check out that video to see how I did if I made it or not but Today, I'm going to show you my first two weeks when we did the 100 Days of Bible Promises Challenge earlier this year in April. You guys seem to love seeing me flip through my Bible um, or, or my book showing you how I worked through it. So I'm going to do the same hopefully throughout this journey as well. So let's just go ahead and dive into my Bible and I'll show you. The first thing I want to show you though is I have been tabbing the sides of my Bible so that they don't get lost at the top. And what I've been doing is using the, these are free words, um, word fetty and prompts that come from the Illustrated Faith Print and Pray Shop. I will leave a link to that down below where you can print them for free. And it has the number of the day, the um, prompt for that day, and then some the scripture and also some word fetty I'll show you as I open up that you can use. And so I chose to use those to tab my pages. These little pops of color that you see are working out beautifully with the cover of this is a floral Bible. You can get it at Dayspring and I will leave it linked down below, but it just tied in beautifully. And I I love how as I fill up and go each day, this is getting more and more beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and let's open up to day one. And I don't have these just um, marked, um, you know, where I know exactly where they are. I have to look for the number, so bear with me. But we are talking in day one about fresh starts. And so you're going to see a theme of what I'm doing for each day. Um, so I won't talk about every single one in a lot of detail, but basically what I have chose to do is add a little bit of color to the background. And the way I'm doing that, I've showed you in another video, is with um, some printable stickers. You can use whatever kind you want. I happen to have some in my Etsy shop that the colors coordinate with this um, Grace and Gratitude journey. So if you are interested, you know, feel free to check those out. There'll be a link to them down below. And so I've used different collage arts and page starters that I have there in my shop in different sets um, for a background of color. I use these title starter transparent stickers that come with the Grace and Gratitude kit and then I add a little bit of some washi that came in the kit. This is the scripture prompt. I just add a little journaling, mark my verse, and that's it. So let me um, go through that again. We'll move on to the next page just to give you a better idea. And so we're going to flip over here and talk about his gifts over in Hebrews. And so again, the first thing I like to do is I add my little color. That's the first thing. I add a little bit of extra pizzazz with maybe die cuts, other stickers. Um, I use the word fetty that came in the uh, free printable. Add a little bit of journaling. Fourth thing is I add my tab to the side that I have to mark that page and that's it. Those are my four basic things that I do. And so that is what I'm carrying over into each one of my entries as I go. Um, and so I'm able to do these entries literally in just a few minutes or less. So. It's a really fun way to keep up with this journey, especially with the busyness of Christmas. It is totally doable. So now we have three perfect piece, um, sort of the same thing. Add a little bit of washi tape there. And then day four, we're going to be talking about choices. Help me to choose thoughts, Lord, that dwell on your goodness and take all other thoughts captive. How important is that? Um, what we're dwelling on each day is very important. Day five talking about joy. We're, I'm so thankful for joy, and I just pray that God would fill me with fullest joy and absolute sheer delight in Him. And then day six, we're talking about our small reminders. This is a small reminder. His love and grace is all around us like a God wink just for us. And I love that. Um, it's great to think as you go through each day, you see little things that may make you smile or brighten your day. They are absolutely God winks. They are ways of God saying, here, my child, I love you. And I just want you to smile today. 
Um, especially when you need them at the, you know, your hardest times when you need it the most. Makes um, pretty powerful stuff. And then day seven, we're talking about grace. Um, new, unearned, never-ending, and freely given. Um, grace is so much more. Okay, that would be day seven. And now day eight. We did um, thoughts on humility. I loved this one. This is one of my newer sets, the Chalk Doodles. Um, and so I loved adding that to that page. Help me to stay humble and point others towards you. That's what this life is about. It's certainly not about us. It is all about um, him. It's all about pointing others to him so they see his love. Um, this one, day nine, we're talking about forgiveness. Um, help my first response to be forgiveness to others, God, just as you have forgiven me. That's one that we could read every single day because we're all human and people are going to upset us. But in the end, we absolutely have to show forgiveness and love just as he's shown us because we, we need it to. Um, day 10, the salvation. Thank you, Lord, that we get to spend eternity with you. Um, because you gave us the ultimate sacrifice of salvation. I love that. Sometimes going back to the basics of salvation and those things are absolutely great reminders. Day 11. Oh no, my page is sticking. Kind of ripped, but that's okay. Day 11 is praise. All about praise. I want to recognize and praise God. Choose that gratitude over grumbling. If you haven't read the devotion for praise on day 11 in the devotional journal, absolutely talking about gratitude over grumbling. It's a must read, one that I need to read and come back to um, every day, really. Okay, day 12, we're talking about his greatness. Um, I loved adding this little pop of color and that little orange with the leaf. Loved that. Um, day 13. We're talking about his strength. And sometimes my pages like to stick because of the adhesive runner that I use. Um, so that's why. But day 13, his strength. All is possible with God. You are mighty to save. Amen. Why well, fear you have the strongest person ever on your side. And that is God Almighty. Not person. He's the only true God who is stronger than any man. And then day 14, we're talking about his nearness. And I, I used this little set from a collage um, art that is in my shop as well. And just thanking God that you're there every hour of the day. It doesn't matter, night or day, he is there. So I hope that you found this encouraging seeing me flip through my Bible. Check out the other video showing how I flip through the journal as well. Um, and let me know, how is God touching your heart? I would love to know and just leave me a little message in the comments so we can share that with each other. Um, again, there are links down below to um, supplies, to kits, to printables, um, to my Etsy shop. I will have a couple new entries actually that are over there today that will continue to coordinate with the um, grace and gratitude kit and it will also coordinate with the um, devotional journal so check those out if you're interested and you want some um, easy ways to get some color down and work through every day especially during this busy holiday Christmas season that's coming up I will talk to you guys again very soon have a great day bye bye